Welcome back to another Top 5 22 video. Now, if you've seen my other previous videos, I did a Top 5 22 pistols for self-defense. I also did a Top 5 uh, 22 pistols for training. These pistols in front of me are the questions that I get the majority of the time on my channel. These are going to be my Top 5 target pistols. Now, what classifies a pistol as a target pistol? A lot of people confuse target with match. There will be a top five match pistol video coming up sometime, but these are target pistols. Target pistols are usually a steel frame followed by, you know, a steel receiver. They're pretty hefty and they are relatively accurate. Um, your Rugers, your Victories, uh, Buck Marks, things of that nature fall into the target class. Your uh, Smith & Wesson M&P or your, your kel or, or any of your polymer-made guns, uh, training guns, do not fall into the target class. Now, these are some of my target pistols. Of course, this is nowhere near all of them, but in my opinion, these are my top five. Let's get into the video. Number one. In no particular order, well, maybe there will be one that I'm a little biased towards every one when it comes to a target pistol. But each and every one of these firearms, um, I have shot, I have shot a bunch, and I can give you a good opinion on them. Now I've done a review on every single firearm up here besides one, and it's the first one we're going to get to. Uh, making my top five target pistol is a high stander M101. Uh, there are many, many names to this particular uh, semi-automatic pistol. This goes into the target frame. This thing weighs a ton. This was the first 22 pistol that I ever shot. Um, uh, this was my dad's, he gave it to me. Now this pistol did not look like this when I was growing up. This pistol was rusted. This pistol had the paint chipped off. I used this pistol. I learned to shoot on this handgun. This was the handgun that taught me how to shoot rimfire. And I used to check my trap lines. I used to, anytime I went down to the creek, I had this thing in a leather holster right on my hip. I carried this thing with me everywhere. I can't tell you how many times I've dropped it in the creek on accident or I have left it in the mud or whatever have you beside me hunting with it. Um, I, I put this pistol through uh, a lot of abuse. Now. High Standard makes, man, they make a bunch of different target pistols and they also make match pistols, but this is what I consider a target pistol. The trigger is, you know, probably about four and a half pounds. The accuracy is, is pretty decent. I remember seeing my dad take this pistol out squirrel hunting. That's the only thing that he would take out squirrel hunting with him was this High Standard. But this pistol is a piece of American history they go way, way, way back. Uh, I can't remember exactly when he purchased this one. I wanna think sometime in the late 70s, but this has been a great pistol and you can usually find these guys for around 250 to $300 in pawn shops and also your local gun stores when people trade them in. But it's hard to beat a 22 high standard. That's why this pistol has made my top five target pistol list. Number two. All right, next pistol on the list. A lot of you guys getting mad at me for the other two videos, not showing the Browning Buckmark or giving the Browning Buckmark love. I love the Browning Buckmark. It is one of my favorite 22 semi-automatic pistols to shoot. This, in, this pistol in this form is still considered a target pistol. Um, now, if you upgrade uh, the barrel on it, you could probably reach the match level on this particular handgun, but since it has the factory barrel, which is plenty accurate, and I did take the liberty of putting a tandem cross trigger in there, but that doesn't make the pistol any more accurate. That just allows you to shoot it more accurately. I do have a little red dot on here, but the Browning Buckmark, oh man, for years and years and years and years and years, the Browning Buckmark has been one of those target pistols that people really love and love to shoot. It is extremely reliable, it is durable, and it is built like a tank, like all these target pistols on here, and it is highly accurate. If you're looking to spend, you know, you know, four or $500 on a good quality target pistol, you may want to look at the Browning Buckmark. Number three. All right, next on the list. You know I had to throw a Ruger in there. This is a Ruger Mark II. Um, I own Ruger Standards, Ruger Mark I's, Ruger Mark II's, 3's, and 4's. 
Um, but in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I believe that the Ruger Mark II was the best target pistol that Ruger ever put out. And here's the reason why. I actually made my first YouTube video ever with this pistol. I shot a golf ball at 100 yards um, as a dare from a friend of mine and uploaded the video. Had no idea that I one day would be making YouTube videos and shooting um, at the level that I'm shooting at and actually making a living. But the Ruger Mark II is a great pistol for this reason and this reason only. When Ruger created the Mark II, it's before a lot of the lawyers got involved. They actually put a really, really nice trigger in these pistols. This is the Mark II stainless slap side. This is their target model. It's one of my favorite pistols to shoot. I hardly get to shoot anymore, but the trigger straight out of the box is around two, two and a quarter pounds. Now, later with the Mark III's and the Mark IV's, they stiffen those triggers up to about four and a half to five pounds. So just on the trigger alone, that's the reason why I'm picking the Mark II's over the Mark III's and IV's. Plus over the Mark III, you don't have the uh, loaded chamber indicator and you do not also have the magazine disconnect. So in my opinion, the Ruger Mark II target is probably one of the best target pistols ever made. Number four. All right, next to last on my favorite target pistols. This is the Smith & Wesson Victory. I have multiple, multiple videos on the Smith & Wesson Victory. Yeah, there are some things that have been customized on this handgun, but this handgun, in my opinion, is still in target form. It is not in match form. I did upgrade the trigger with the tandem cross trigger, which helps greatly. So if you own a Smith & Wesson Victory, I've said it in my other videos, the first thing you need to do is upgrade the trigger with the tandem cross trigger. That will take that trigger down to about two pounds, and man, it is nice. Now, the Smith & Wesson Victory, as this sits is a very reliable, very accurate and pretty affordable pistol. You can pick these up for around $400 without the modifications that I've put on them. And for the most part, this pistol will serve most of everyone's need. If you just want to go out in the backyard and shoot steel or shoot tin cans and have a good time, this pistol, it's heavy, it's well balanced, and it will allow you to shoot thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds without any problems. Now, I will say that Smith & Wesson does have a little bit of problem with the reliability on their victories. So if you get a victory and it's starting to stovepipe, there is, uh, the ejector is welded on the side of the receiver. So a little tweaking here and there will eliminate all, most, if not all of the malfunctions that you're having out of the gun. I've had to do it to mine before. Um, I own three of them. One of them that I got, it just jam, 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 stovepipe after stovepipe. And what I did was simply bend that ejector just slightly and those rounds started kicking out and I haven't had any more problems. But, you know, number four on my list, I will have to go with the Smith & Wesson Victory. Number five. Last but not least, where to begin? I saved old beauty here for, uh, I guess, number five. If I have to pick any pistol on this table to shoot uh, target level, I'm gonna pick up my Colt Woodsman. This is a 1964 Colt Woodsman six inch target. And I have done over a hundred videos with this pistol. Any and every kind of trick shot that you can possibly name, I have done it. I've hit steel up to 500 yards, yes, on video. Oh yeah. yeah. 500 yards. 500 yards with a 22. <laughs> you know, shot through arrows, split playing cards a hundred different ways. I can't tell you what this pistol means to me. Now, Colt made a lot of target pistols back in the days. However, they also made a lot of match pistols. And when I get to my match pistol list, you're gonna see other Colt match pistols on up there. But the six inch target, in my opinion, is probably the greatest target pistol that fits my hands than any other pistol out on the market. The trigger breaks at about two and three quarter pound and it just points. If you've ever shot one of these, they almost shoot themselves. They just point so nice. But last but not least, I have to pick the Colt Woodsman six inch target. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on my top five target pistols. Now you may think of another target pistol that you prefer more than these top five that I picked. Like I said, I own more target pistols than this, but I have to keep it to a top five and that's really, really hard for me to do. But you may have that favorite target pistol um, in some form you know, or fashion 
of a different pistol or the same pistol that's up here, but that's okay. That's your opinion, this is my opinion. That's what makes this world great. We can have different opinions and not argue about it too much. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking.